The eruption of Kalawia volcano has significant implications for local residents, visitors, and the broader ecosystem. While lava flows do not threaten homes or infrastructure, volcanic gas emissions create a hazardous volcanic haze, which can cause respiratory problems, especially for vulnerable individuals. According to the USGS's Hawaiian Volcano Observatory, the eruption remains confined to Hawaii Volcanoes National Park, with no immediate threat to nearby communities. However, volcanic gas emissions and Pele's hair, a type of volcanic glass, have been seen in the surrounding area. The USGS's latest update, issued at 9.15 a.m., Hawaii Standard Time on Thursday also said the eruption is showing alternating episodes of increased and decreased activity. The current phase began with slow lava flows from the volcano's north vent that transitioned to faster eruptions from the north and south vents. Earlier this week, Field observations recorded eruption heights of up to 330 feet, although activity has since subsided. As of Thursday morning, the eruption height had decreased to between 140 and 160 feet, with the north and south vents remaining active. Lava flows are confined to the southwest crater floor near the active vent. Pele's hair has fallen into the surrounding area, creating a hazard due to its glassy composition. The USGS warns visitors and residents to avoid contact with the brittle but sharp glass fibers, as they can cause skin irritation and eye injuries. Kalawia has a history of frequent eruptions. Since 2020, there have been six summit eruptions within the caldera, with durations ranging from a week to more than a year. Historically, summit eruptions can exhibit vigorous activity in the early days, followed by episodic lulls or gradual declines. Although these eruptions remain confined to the Kalua Pili caldera, some hazards remain. The primary concern is the release of sulfur dioxide gas, which reacts in the atmosphere to form smog. Prolonged exposure to the smog can irritate the eyes, throat, and lungs, especially for those with pre-existing respiratory conditions. The National Park Service warns that Pele's hair can cause injury if it becomes airborne and comes into contact with skin or eyes. Pele's hair is formed when gas bubbles near the surface of a lava flow rupture, causing them to stretch the molten lava skin into long strands. Pele's hair strands are very thin usually about a micron in diameter, but can grow to be several feet long. This fascinating but dangerous byproduct of the eruption is named after the Hawaiian volcano goddess. In addition, the caldera area poses risks such as unstable ground, hidden lava tubes and rock falls. This underscores the extremely dangerous nature of the Kalawea caldera rim surrounding the Halema Umau crater, an area that has been closed to the public since late 2007, the USGS said.
The National Park Service advises caution due to the active volcanic environment in the park. Visitors should stay informed about current volcanic activity through official updates from the USGS and the National Park Service. Avoid areas with high levels of volcanic gas. Be aware of unstable terrain. Protect yourself from Pelly's hair and stay on marked trails and lookouts. The Hawaiian Volcano Observatory continues to monitor the eruption at Kalawea and is in contact with other authorities about the ongoing danger.